Welcome back to another learning studio in two minutes. In today's video, we're gonna go over for loops. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at for loops in their most basic form. But later on in a separate video, we'll take a look at for loops to loop through a model, which is probably gonna be more useful. But starting off to make a for loop, you're gonna start with the word for. The next part of the for loop is going to be a variable. A lot of times you're going to see the letter I used, but you can use whatever name you want to. The first number that you're going to put after the equal sign will be the starting point. So let's go ahead and start this loop at zero. We're going to put a comma. The next number will be the stopping point. So let's go from zero to 10. And then what we're going to do from zero to 10 is we're going to print and then we'll just say hello. All right, so let's go ahead and run the program and see what happens. And then down on the output, we can see the hello message was printed 11 times because there's 11 numbers between zero and 10. If I wanna print this message five times, then I can do something like this. I can go from one to five. Okay, so in this form, the for loop is just used to repeat this section of code right here five times. You can also use this variable right here inside of the statement. So instead of printing the word hello, let's go ahead and print off the value of i. So here, what we're gonna get when we run the code is the numbers between one and five. And we can see down the output, we have one, two, three, four, and five. You can add another number to the for loop, which will be the step value. So let's go ahead and put two as our step and we'll see what happens. And we can see down the output, we have the value of i printed at an interval of two. All right, and before we end with this video, I just wanna show you a practical use of for loops. So what we're gonna do in this case is we have a part and then we're gonna use this for loop here to change the position of the part. So what's gonna happen is the first time it goes through the for loop, i is gonna start at zero. So for the x position, it's gonna be set to zero. After that, since the step value is five, the next i value is gonna be equal to five. And then it's gonna to go to 10, 15, 20, and so on, all the way up to 100. So let's go ahead and run the program and we can see what happens. Okay, and we can see once we're in the game that the part is moving over as it runs through the for loop. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.